And what did you make of, of the performances in this film? Well, I think that everybody is absolutely magnificent. Uh, it was uh, the la immediately after it, Cagney announced his retirement, uh, and so it was uh, his last film, apart from that rather sad final appearance in Ragtime, which uh, was very shortly before he died. Uh, but this film just shows that he had lost none of his attack, his drive, his panache and his superb comic timing. Uh, and I think you also saw the grace of the, uh, of, of the dancer, obviously now uh, not uh, on the stage anymore, but uh, the uh, elegance of his movement. Uh, it, it's such a pity that he didn't ever work with Wilder again or that he had not worked with him before because uh, I, I, I think it was a two-way traffic that he here had one of the scripts of his lifetime and he sunk his teeth into it in no uncertain terms and delivers a performance which uh, is just so lickety-spit that it's almost unbelievable. Uh, and he's partnered by Arlene Francis, who made very few movies. She was mainly uh, a television person, uh, but one would have thought on the strength of what she does here uh, that people would have made her offers that she couldn't refuse, but it, it seems they didn't. Uh, I mean, any time I... Uh, I, want, I, I say lucky Pierre and uh, uh, cheers me up no end uh, but she obviously ha had to keep pace with Cagney and never misses a beat uh, and, and the German cast that he assembled uh, were absolutely the, the, the people who were needed for the parts. Uh, once again, he has the, uh, the the trio of Russian commissars, just as he did in Ninochka. Yeah, a threesome is obviously uh, a good comic turn, uh, but he makes the most of it uh, at every opportunity. Uh, it just seems to me that there isn't a weak link in, in the whole film.